Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? Hi, Mom. Now I'm going to show you about Safari's reading list feature. It's kind of like bookmarks, but it's meant for items that you don't want to keep a long time. You just want to make a to-do list of stories or web pages that you want to read. Like I showed in the last video, if you click on the glasses icon, it will show this reading list pane. It starts off really boring because I don't have anything in it right now. So let me show you how to add items to it. First way, my favorite way, you don't even need to visit a web page. You just need to see a link to it. So like this one, Scenic Greek Island shows signs of volcanic unrest. I know I want to read that. I don't even need to click on it to look at the article, but I want to read it later. So I hold down shift and click and watch what happens. That little icon goes flying over onto the glasses. And if I click on the glasses, I can see that this page is now in my reading list. Now, the way that thing flew over there actually shows another way of adding to your reading list, which is you, you can click and drag. Instead of holding down shift and clicking, you can just click and drag and drop it onto there. Or, see, now you'll see two in there. Or, if the pane is open, you can click and drag and drop it right onto the pane. Okay, so now what if you're already viewing the page? Well, let's open up a few pages here. 3D nano printing sounds interesting. There's a bunch of ways to add things to the list. Up on the bookmarks menu, you'll see add to reading list, and you'll see the way I do it most often, which is the shortcut shift command D. So here I'll do it with the menu this time. And um, you'll notice the nice thing about, I'm in uh, Google News here, and whenever I click on a link, it opens a new tab. So that's kind of nice. So another way is to simply drag from here, and I can drop it onto the glasses, or if the pane's open, I can just drop it into there. All right, let me close these. Now let's say you've opened up a bunch of tabs that you want, you know, you, you get a call and you need to leave and you want to come back and read all these later. So let me open up one more here. So I've got all these tabs here. I just want to add them all quickly to my reading list. Well, Safari gives you that option too. Up in the bookmarks menu, Add these four tabs to reading list. And that four changes with however many tabs you have open in that window. And watch what happens when I click that. Boop, boop. All four of them drop in there. So now that I've shown you how to get items in there, let me click off a few tabs here. Let me show you how to start reading things from your reading list. Once again, if your list isn't shown, you can click on the glasses, or you can go up to View, Show Reading List. And you can click on any of these. I'll just start on the top here. And it puts that page over in the right side here. And you can go read. And when you're done, you can click on the next one. There you go. You can skip around however you want. Now, let's say you had a bunch here and you know you just want to go, you know, right through them one after the other. Well, there's a shortcut key for that too. Up in the bookmarks menu, you can see select previous item in reading list or next item. And um, this funny thing means option, command, up option command down. So I'm already looking at the life on Mars one. I'm now, you know, let's say I'm done reading this here. I want to go on to the next one. I don't need to move my mouse at all. I just hold down option command and hit the down key. And it takes me to the next one and loads up that page. And when I'm done with that, I can do option command down again. 
and I'm off to the next one. So you can see how you could quickly go through your reading list um, with uh, minimal effort here. Just a, you know, a little scrolling and uh, either clicking or some, uh, some keystrokes. Now, uh, you'll see up here in the reading list there's an All and an Unread button. Um, you can see how when I went to Unread, the list shrank a little bit. Uh, I've had mixed luck on this. Sometimes it knows I read an article, and sometimes it doesn't. So if you really want to get something out of the list, you can click the X here also. Or if you're all done, you've read everything, just clear all and your list is empty again and you can start over. So hopefully that helps you uh, get through the news of the day faster and um, have fun with that.